In this video, we'll be looking at how you can generate a unique ID for your record. So whenever you are adding a record to your data source, most of the time you have to maintain a unique ID which user can use uh, as a reference ID or record ID for the future uh, purpose. So we'll see in Power Apps how you can, what logic you can use to generate a unique ID. Let's say in this format if you want to capture or you want to generate a unique ID. So let's just navigate here to add new tenant screen. And this is my reference ID. This is my title field. Actually, I've changed here the display name to reference ID. I want this to be auto populated with a unique ID. Now, uh, of course, the item ID which get generated automatically in the SharePoint list or even if you are using SQL table there is a auto increment column which you, which you can use as a unique ID but here before adding the record before the record gets added in the system you want to show that unique ID to the user so that user can note it down and they know okay this is the record ID which I'm going to add now so how you can do that so what you need to do is so we'll be using a timestamp um, to capture or to generate the, the unique ID. Now you select your field, go to the default property and here use few function. First is text function and then use now which will give you the current timestamp. And then you can define format how you can, how do you want your unique ID to be. So first six digit usually what I do is DD mm yy so this will give you the current date so you you are um, so every date is a different which is unique then on that day you can capture the time exact time hh which will give you the hour mm ss so this is a current exact second so this will give you the dd mm yy hh mm ss now i'll complete this and you can see this already so if i just zoom it, it zoom it a bit now this is my reference id okay so you might say now okay it might happen that on the exact same second or same time multiple users are add, adding the record so it might happen that the same reference id is used for multiple records yes it can happen if you have a big organization a lot of users are transaction doing transactions on your app then it might happen so further to that to avoid that you can add more filter like you can capture more data which is user centric so you can capture the sum of the letters of the user who has logged in for example so you can define your own logic there are a lot of ways to uh, to make it really unique field you uh, really unique value but this would be sufficient for most of the scenarios, the timestamp itself. But if you think that, okay, it might happen that uh, multiple users are adding record at the same time, uh, if there is a high usage, then what you can do is you can add some of the characters from the, the logged in user. So for example, I what I'll do here now is go here I'll use concatenate function and let's use another function left which will give you the left or first few characters of the user display name whoever is logged in because of course the same user won't be logged in across or, or through different systems so if I'm logged in here I won't be logged in somewhere else so this will definitely be a unique, uh, this will definitely generate a unique combination. Uh, and then let's say I just want to capture the first two characters of my name. That's it. And then concatenate complete. Now let's just add a hyphen in between. And so now you can say this is my name, first two letters of my name, SA hyphen tdmmyy hyphen hhmmss so of course there could be scenario that multiple users have same first two letters could be possible 
so you can build your own logic i just wanted to the the intention or purpose of this video is to give you a hint how you can build a unique id combination you can use your own logic your own creativity and uh, build the unique id so that user before submitting it user knows okay this is the reference id which i need to note it down and you can use it for the future reference so we are using concatenate left text timestamp now all these functions and properties we're using to generate a unique id well that's it in this video i hope this will help you guys thank you so much for watching do subscribe to the channel to get the notification of uh, similar videos I'll, I'll be up uploading it every week